Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this video, I'm going to take you along with me as I doodle these props from the October Doodle Challenge. All right, let's get into it. I'm doodling in this book, which I recently made. It's a lightning bolt stitch book. And if you want to learn how to make it, check out this video right here. It will also be in the description below. This book has 32 pages, which makes it great for this challenge because it has 31 prompts for October. And if you want this printout, I will link the video up here and down below. You can doodle all over this or write the prompts in your own book. Each page in this book has a prompt written on it, except for the very middle of the book. That has two pages because this book is 32 pages and there's only 31 prompts. So two pages for this one prompt. Okay, I'm going to try some binder clips on the sides of this book because it doesn't sit completely flat on its own and those are going to hold down my pages. First, I'm going to draw the body of the spider with a black glaze pen and this will dry glossy and kind of raised on the paper, which I thought could look cool for a spider. I chose to make this book with black paper because I do enjoy drawing on black paper. It's really fun to experiment on it and it does create sort of a challenge. So here's my shiny Black Widow spider and I'm just waiting for it to dry because then I'm going to go over it with colored pencil. That's a cool thing I've learned about these glazed pens is that you can go over it and it won't mess up the ink that you put down. So I'm just making it stand out a little bit more with this gray colored pencil. Then I'm making that hourglass shape that Black Widows have on their belly. By the way, I will put all of the pens that I'm using in the description below in case you want to know what I'm using. Now I'm going over the spider with a white jelly roll pen to sort of bring out the skeletal structure of the spider, just making it stand out a bit more. Then erasing some of the gray colored pencil to give it a shadow, just trying to make that spider pop out a bit more. So here's the second prompt of the October Doodle Challenge, which is a spider. And the next one, number three, is web. So I'm just going to make the spider web on the other page right next to it and sort of uh, bring it over to this page. I noticed the Black Widow spider webs aren't exactly the typical spider web shape. They're kind of messy. So I tried to stay true to that, but also make it look more like a web on the second page. And I'm drawing lines with a white color pencil, making them really light. And now bringing it to the other page, forming kind of a more typical spider web. Now I'm going to lightly drag the white jelly roll pen over the spider web, and this will make it look kind of like glistening spider web. I don't know if I'm describing that right, but you know when you see a spider web, it kind of shines or glistens in the light. So that, that's the effect I was trying to achieve. And here is my final Black Widow spider with its web. And I hope I never have to meet one in person. <laughs> I hope this is as close as I get to one. I know a lot of you are also doing this October doodle challenge and I love seeing your pictures and I wanted to feature some in this video. So check these out because I think they are awesome and there are just too many to include in this video. So if you want to see more, go check out hashtag CLemon on Instagram. If you want to join this challenge, it's not too late. I would love to see your doodles. So tag me at CLemon and be sure to add a hashtag CLemon. My goal is to do the whole challenge in this book that I made and I'm going to try to finish all of them and let me know if you want to see a flip through of this book when I'm done with it. Maybe I'll put that up at the end of the month so let me know if you want to see that in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button if you want to see more doodle with me videos. You can jump into more doodle videos right here and I will also put these links in the description below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notifications, that bell icon, so you get notified every time I post a video. And I will see you guys next time.